So at UFI, we've been uh, committed to supporting the skills um, and uh, continuous professional development of, of, of practitioners for, for a number of years. It's a key part of our, our strategy because to be able to um, achieve our ambitions, teachers, trainers, learning technologists, you know, really need the support uh, to be able to use digital tools in their in their practice. And, um, you know, technology is changing, changing rapidly uh, and changing all the time. So this isn't something that you can just just do once. You need a, you know, a continuous program of, of support and engagement for people so that so that they can make um, you know, really good choices about how to use technology in their teaching and learning. So um, a few years ago, we, we began a conversation with, with, with ALT, who, who, you know, who are the professional body for, for, for learning technologists about how, how we could work together to support the community of, of practitioners, uh, learning technologists, teachers, trainers in the, in the vocational education sector to to, to, to really build their skills and capacity to be able to use, use digital tools in, in their teaching and learning. Um, you know, and that's where, that's where it started with a, with a thought in the conversation. Absolutely. And, you know, a few years down the line, we're still thinking alongside each other and partnering on what we hope is going to be a very long term partnership supporting vocational education practitioners and further education practitioners. Because one of our key challenges, I think working in this sector for you know, well over 25 years now, is that many initiatives come and go very quickly. And the pace of change and changes in funding from different sources also change very quickly. And that leaves a lack of consistency across different networks and across different priority areas. So we hope that this partnership with VocTech Trust will enable ALD to support members and the wider sector in this area, providing some much needed continuity. This partnership builds on the successful work of the Amplify FE network, a network that connects professionals across the sector and communities of practice to share expertise, um, find out more about new tools and new technologies, and really help each other and support each other through knowledge exchange. This partnership builds on what we've learned over the past two years from Amplify FE and the sector audit that we've been running to help establish a new community space dedicated to this growing community and connecting those existing networks across the piece. But there's also an important link in with the wider UFI family of projects and innovations. Yeah, and, and for, for us, you know, together, it's, it's about our shared commitment to um, creating, you know, more um, and, and ongoing opportunities for, for, for the vocational sector, for people working in the vocational sector to, 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 to be valued um, and really be invested in, in terms of their, their continuous professional development. Um, the, you know, at UFI, we really want to, you know, enhance how vocational learning and training happens in the U UK. And, and to do that, Practitioners need that 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 support, and they need places where they can go to get that support. And, and our hope in the long term is that there'll be a really uh, you no know, a ripple effect and a lasting a lasting legacy because um, people who've been able to access the networks and support that are available from Alt, you know, will continue to grow and develop and and do and do do great things. And and we know. That, that great teaching and learning really transforms the lives of, of, of learners and, and that's at the heart of it. Two of the key 
things that are happening in the partnership at this point are the launch of a new community space, which will build on our Amplifier V network to connect existing and new communities of practice, networks and experts. It will be free to join and open to everyone and will be regular activities across the year so that there'll always be something to engage with and something to provide support and the recognition for that professional development. But we also want to look beyond what's current practice and do some horizon scanning and some research built on the professional accreditation frameworks and conceptual frameworks that are so important to our sector, thinking around digital literacies and also digital poverty. This is a really important research piece that is now getting underway. Yeah, that's it, it, that's so important, and um, we're really pleased that you're part of our our Voctec challenge, um, you know, work where we're really focused on you know how to level up opportunities for for for, for people you know most impacted by the digital divide and, and furthest away from learning to get to get the skills they need for work and. One of the things that, that I know this piece of research is going to, to look at is um, you know, what we learn from the projects that we're supporting about how, um, how digital, how tech can help overcome confidence barriers for learners. Um, the, the statistics from the Learning and Work Institute you know, show that adult engagement in lifelong learning is, is persistently low and, and our work um, on our VocTech Challenge Green Paper really um, you know, helped us understand the role that, that confidence and fear of failure and self-belief um, plays as a, as a barrier for learning. And, and I'm really excited um, about the potential for, for alts to bring their expertise and the expertise of their networks to our um, practical experience and learning from those projects to come up, as, as Maren said, with some really um, interesting tools and frameworks around how to how to work in this space really, really well. Because if, if we can crack it, the prize is the prize is enormous. And, and then there's a legacy of, of information and tools and resources which, um, you know, which will be there and will continue to have an impact in the long term at, 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 and in the future. So I'm you know, there's some quite groundbreaking stuff going on and it's it's really exciting. And, and I think the combination of um, UFI's sort of relentlessly practical approach and, and, and ALT's really deep understanding of, of, of what's good and what works and why that works is, is, is quite a powerful and interesting combination. You can get involved both in person and online, and all activities are free to join and open to everyone. If you head over to the Amplify V website, you can immediately sign up for our mailing list to keep in touch with all that's going on across the community and also join the Amplify V community space. There is a lot of conversation on social media, particularly on Twitter, on Facebook, other platforms. So if you have a look for the Amplify V hashtag, you'll be able to join in the conversation. But if you're not that confident, and maybe you're not quite sure how to join in an existing conversation, just drop us an email, get in touch with us directly, and we'd be very happy to help you find your way in our growing community. No, it's fantastic. And I just really encourage as many people to, to get involved and we're really keen to hear, um, you know, about people's experiences and feedback and ideas, so that we can continue to to, to evolve and deliver something that's, that's that's useful and helpful. So uh, it'd be really great if you can keep in touch with us. Uh, if you haven't already had a look, um, please do take a look at UFI's website. We have a, a community newsletter which you can sign up to and do all the, the usual things following us on, on social media. Um, and that's probably one of the best ways to find out also about when our next um, grant calls are coming up, which are always uh, of interest to people. So, um, you know, please do stay in touch and, and, and engage with us through, the, through, those, through those channels. We're really, really keen to keep building our network and our community. 
Well, we're delighted and really proud to work in partnership with UFI. We're so excited that you've given us the opportunity to make this Amplify the community space become a reality for our growing community. And I would really like to invite you all to find out more about the work of the VogTech Trust and find out more about the work that Amplify V is doing um, as a community. Thank you very much for getting involved in the conversation.